But, uh, and then I did pilots. I did pilots for Digimon, and I did pilots for uh, Pretty Cure 5. And those turned out great, you know. Pretty Cure 5 was sort of like a Power Rangers with girls. And, um, and then the uh, Digimon is very famous. We did one called Digimon Fusion Battles. Uh, there's a story to that, and I'll just, I'll, I'll make it very quick. Um, I made some really, what I thought were fantastic pilots for Digimon, okay? Really great pilots. And the casting was, I mean, Larry Butler played this villain named Mad Leoman, who was just, you know, he went, I mean, you know, he really fulfilled the part. The guy playing the leads, the kids were great. Um, I did the voice of a robot called Ballistamon or something, yeah. And uh, the goal was we were to produce the series. William Winkler Productions made those pilots so that William... So we, so we did these pilots for Digimon, and they were successful with the test audiences, and were played at trade shows, and then... A little while later, they wound up on American television, but William Wick Productions was not dubbing them as we had expected to do because we made these sensational pilots. That's show business, right? So we just moved on to the next thing, which was, uh, by the way, I will say that when I, I did, out of curiosity, I looked at the show that was not done by us. In fact, I saw some of the pilots that we dubbed and then when it went to series, I thought it was the most abysmal <laughs> dubbing I'd ever heard. When Larry Butler played this mad Leoman character, remember, he fulfilled the part. Or, you know, he went crazy. And he made this grand entrance, I remember. And then I saw the scene of the final dub and it was just so meek and mild and no energy. I thought, oh my God, you know. So again, that's show business, right? Occasionally you get the rug pulled out from under you.